I don't know, a really tough place to come at, a hard fought point. Are you happy with that or are you a bit gutted you could have got all three? I'm a wee bit gutted to be honest with you, I think that speaks volumes for the performance. Obviously towards the end we were hanging on because I'm from the rest of a big physical team and they get the ball forward really quick. Um, it's hard to deal with that. Um, but I thought for the majority of the game we did, we defended well. It's just the fine moments, the defining moments, sorry, where you make mistakes. Um, like the first goal, the first goal was just a kicker. You either clear it or the keeper comes and gets it, it's between one and two, make a decision. Uh, so it's a really cheap goal from your point of view, after going ahead in the game through really good play. You know what I mean? It's not as if teams are cutting us open with goals are scoring, they're cutting us open with a launch forward and no one in the header. So we need to be more aggressive, we need to win headers, we need to do the ugly side of the game. But going forward, I thought we created chances today. I think previous games against Inverness, we've struggled to really create much because they're really good defenders, they're really aggressive, they're strong, um, experienced players. But I thought today we, we created a few chances. We could maybe have a uh, further ahead, uh, especially the early part of the second half. And that's how it's so frustrating when you get the goal back. But look at the first goal, first goal, really good play. I think the three guys up front are all involved. Shea wins the ball back, uh, gets it to Rory. Rory plays a through pass, everything we're looking for. And it's a really composed finish with Lee. Um, then obviously the boys take him up with a sloppy goal that we lose. And then Inverness go ahead. I think we've got to defend that better as well. We don't win the header, we don't stop the short. So far too easy the second goal as well. And that's what we need to learn from. We need to improve defensively if we're going to have a chance of winning games and climbing the table. Uh, but the boys showed a bit of character to come back and obviously um, get that goal. It was so important to get a reaction because the Patrick performances, we know, haven't really been up to standard. But we got that and straight away, Queen's, especially in the first 10 25 minutes, really dominated that first half or very much in control and then they got the goal they deserved. So they must be happy to see your team in control of the game again. I know, that's what I'm saying. It was a lot better passing day. We frustrated them as well. We defended well for the majority of the game. It's just, that's what I'm saying, day moments. It's just killing us at the moment. We need to improve. Um, but hopefully over the next couple of weeks, and I know I've been saying that the last couple of weeks, we can strengthen and try and get a couple of players in, um, because we're not far away. You've got the beauty of a, a weekend off now to try and get players in, and more importantly, I guess, to try and get players back from injury. We're missing essentially the spine of a team at the minute. Will you hope to get likes of Josh Todd, Cochrane, Mackay back by two weeks? Or? I don't think Mackay will be back uh, two weeks. I think he's going to be a bit longer term. That's how it's important probably to bring in another set of half if we can. Um, but talking about the positives, I thought Shea Gordon I thought he was excellent today. Um, he'd been at the COVID as well, so he's missed a, what is it, 10 days of COVID, so he's not trained much, he's not played a lot recently. But he showed a lot of good quality on the ball and he linked up well with the rest of the players. Yeah, he's only had two days in training, but I thought he linked up, especially with Rui Payne and Lee Conley. For that first goal, but throughout the game, really, really well on that. Is that his DC Shea playing in that number 10 role this season? I know he can play anywhere pretty much. I know, that's what I'm saying. He can play anywhere, so it's flexible. It depends the kind of players we bring in as well. We'll just try and get the best shape we can. Um, but no, a lot of positives today. It's a hard place to come. Inverness are a good team. You can see why they're up at the top of the table. It was a hard-fought game. Um, but disappointed overall, just now to my way with a few points. Good to see us back scoring goals again. Like a couple pure goal forward, but Connolly and Alistair Roy back in the score sheet. You must yeah, be happy for it again. Great chances as well. Yeah. We could probably score a couple more, so that was the positives. Um, we know we've got to improve defensively if we're going to kick on as well. Yeah, so hopefully we can do that.